he's making sculptural strawberries and Julie says, I want to have strawberries as bombs. So let's have strawberries falling from the sky and falling like bombs on a landscape. Let's have Jude start crushing strawberries into a canvas and the strawberries that are exploding on the battlefield are simultaneously exploding in Jude's painting. And suddenly all this, she, she had an idea of a grid of strawberries pinned to the wall and then having them bleed. And so the question is, how are we going to execute this thing? Is it going to be a 3D strawberries exploding? Or are we going to shoot this? And I, I wanted to shoot the strawberries. And then the production designer, Mark Friedberg, is figuring out how to rig strawberries so they bleed and they explode. But it's a very free form process. We leave open all of the possibilities. And we begin by, um, and in this sort of true spirit of uh, 60s experimentation and creativity, that was what was feeding this whole process and feeding the visuals. <laughs> the biggest thing about Mr. Kite, I was thinking of, we should just put these people in an artificial kind of collage world. And Julie responded well to a frame like this, where there's like live, there's a live action piece, but then there's other collaged elements. And this is a conceptual frame, and we began to figure out what it was going to look like based on these frames. This one is actually behind the Hendersons where they're singing a chorus. Don't be late. Don't be late. There was a lot of thinking about Mr. Kite. There were costumes and masks designed for the Hendersons and banners designed. But she kept asking me about all these pieces and how we're gonna put it all together. I just kept saying, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. It was a f almost collage-like way of putting pieces together, which liberates you from the reality of having people look like they're literally on the floor at that circus, on the ground. We played with perspective, but you can see it's very loose play with perspective. It's got an innocence, it's got a childlike and definitely a 60s feeling.